So Slow Die is a UK rapper, bit of a grime-ish artist as well. He's certainly been making it up the ranks lately. Um, he has been on a few features here and there that I've heard him. One of the more notable ones that I can think of is that Flume album that he appeared on this year. I know his name appears here and there every so often as well. I can't think of any other features off the top of my head right now, but I did think that he had a little bit of potential leading up to this album. Titled Nothing Great About Britain and from the get-go I cannot stand that album title man. And it's not even because I'm British or I'm that patriotic towards Britain in general, you may be thinking, well, Ryan, you're obviously from Britain, so you must really not like the title because it offends your country, but it's really not that. Britain has problems that are absolutely worth addressing. I mean, people in our country seem to think Benidorm is like the best holiday destination to go during summertime like that's a huge problem right there man we gotta sort that out and you guys know after my lewis capaldi review that i hate scottish people now and they take up quite a chunk of britain so i'd say that's a little bit of a problem as well but this title is just so lame to me come on nothing great about britain is that the best you could have come up with it's not even a good play on words like come on iceland shouldn't be called iceland because it's not really covered in ice <laughs> And unfortunately, the music on this album didn't really break me out of that unfortunate mindset from the get-go. I'm not really that impressed with Slow Die across this one. I do want to point out, though, that he does actually remind me quite a bit of Wiki, the uh, New York rapper who was part of Rat King and put out that solo album a few years ago. I, I like Wiki's music, and I like Rat King too. But throughout this album, I, did, I definitely got a bit of a, a Wiki vibe coming out of his voice. Occasionally, though, Wiki does get a bit grating. But Slow Die is like kind of almost always grating to me. I just really find his tone, his nasally voice, his, even his rhyming every so often as well just really gets to me. I just find him quite an annoying guy. He's certainly hungry. He's hitting as hard on these beats, these grimy, dirty beats but he just really gets on my nerves. He just reminds me of that really annoying kid in class that always has something to say, but whenever he speaks, he's just not really wording himself in an interesting way, and even if he has a point to make, he just doesn't know how to make it. There's so much potential to me with this idea of like deconstructing your home country and like attacking multiple parts of the country, whether it be the government or whether it be the, be the people, the mindset, the way things are, like if you have problems with your hometown, if there's just too much poverty, like all the different things you could bring up. And I just feel like he doesn't really explore them in a very good way. Maybe that's not the purpose of the whole album, but even on the opening track where it's quite clearly the main topic of the song, he still can't even seem to keep keep it together. He can't string sentences together that are coherent, that make sense in any way. He brings up some race problems across the country. He doesn't really do it in a very particularly interesting way. In fact, I'd even say Dave did it even more interesting than he did on the, his album that came out early in, the, in, early in the year. And you guys know that that Dave album bored me quite a lot. He calls the queen a cunt at the end of the song, like... Of all the things you could attack in Britain, you go for the Queen. Like, you know, I, I get the monarchy has problems and you may not have a, have a strong mindset of that. I don't particularly have a, a strong mindset on the monarchy, to be honest. But man, do you have to be like 14 years old to make this edgy type of humour seriously? The Queen's like, cunt. <laughs> he does often talk about how awful things are around his area and his hometown and just walking through the streets and he often paints a very dark and gloomy picture of the way things are. One line where he talks about how he's walking through the blocks and he has to dodge syringes. Like it sounds really over the top but these types of places really do exist man in the UK. People forget that you know it's not just London where like you know there's Buckingham Palace and there's red buses and there's Big Ben and there's the fucking London Eye like it, 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 mate it's dark around here in some places. I just do really wish he had a bit more of a punch to his delivery though. I mean I mentioned Dave already and my issue with him was how emotionless he was and how just um, he was on every song whereas Slow Die is just constantly like a, a yelpy dog like he's constantly inflecting his vocals you you miss a lot of these lines because of the way the tracks move forward and I understand that he's really trying to 
hit out with some really punchy and hard hitting bangers but it just kind of takes away from the power of some of the lyrics I think. There's a lack of cohesion throughout as well like some tracks he's just going on bits of tangents that don't really add up to anything on a track like Grow Up. I'm just not really getting much out of what he's talking about here. I do absolutely love the track Doorman though. I think everything about this track is so fired up and ballsy. The beat is on some Young Fathers type shit man. It's just so good. It's so like cartoonish animated but at the same time it's banging it's hard it's uh. and he's actually performing really well with his vocals here because he's just not all over the place he's not really like <laughs> northampton's child is actually a pretty good way to vividly paint a picture once again i actually think this is one of his better storytelling tracks it just kind of feels odd the way it closes off like this though it just doesn't really feel like a closer again for me he's just not really selling his lines all that much um He's telling a good story, but he's just not really telling it in a way that interests me, unfortunately. On this track, he's talking from the perspective of his mother and how her life kind of panned out when he was born. It's actually really quite cool because it sort of ties in back to how he ended up growing up because the, the poverty that she grew up in ended up having a negative impact on his life and he's kind of grown up and he's seeing the same things that she once did at his age. It's actually really quite clever the way he does this. It's a really interesting way of talking about how poverty can just be this continuous loop, this continuous cycle and there's no way of really getting out of that circle that's going round and round and round. Even though there are people that do break out of that but not everyone is always that fortunate and I think the way he depicts that is really quite interesting. Yeah, I just wish I was fussed on this album on the whole. Like, I, I love the track Doorman. I think some lyrics throughout are really interesting, but um, it's mostly just his vocals, his nasally voice. The beats honestly aren't that impressive, I wouldn't say. Um, the Skepta feature comes through and it's just whatever, I think Skepta's just kind of doing his thing by the numbers there to be honest. You could argue that there is a strong theme running throughout and earlier what I said was wrong, but I just feel like on each track it's not really tied together particularly very well, which is why I feel like it kind of falls apart a little bit. I definitely think he has potential overall though, but I'm just not really feeling this that much unfortunately. I'm gonna go 5 out of 10. Let me know how you feel about this album though. I feel like this could be a highlight for UK hip hop for a lot of people. It definitely deserves attention. I do feel like this is gonna be one of those albums that, although I don't really like, I will totally understand why people would end up loving it or people would even end up liking it a lot more than I did. I certainly want to push people towards it so don't be put off by what I'm saying just because I'm not really being that positive. You should still go check this out anyway. Let me know how you feel and have a good day. Goodbye.